You just bought a camera. It's very nice, but also very expensive. Now that you need accessories for it, you gotta find some good ones that will not break the bank. So I have five budget-friendly accessories for your camera, starting with number one, a top handle, from specifically from Small Rig. It has a, you know, it's a handle, so when you're filming, you can hold it and move it around a lot smoother than you would if you're just holding it with your hands, you know? or holding the, the camera body with your hands. What's really nice about this top handle is that it has a one, two, three. It has five cold shoes on it. So you can put a microphone, you could put a monitor on there, you could put any, anything that goes into the hot shoe. You have now five of them and you can put it on there instead of the one that you have on the camera. So that's very helpful. And then on to the next one is this thing, a uh, magic arm. So basically, there's just this little thing that you twist. And you can move it all the way around, just any which way you could possibly think of. And then you tighten it. And you attach this part to your camera and then this part to anything else. Almost unlimited angles that you can get. You can attach it to your, a car door handle. You can attach it to a fridge door handle. You can attach it to a toy. You can attach it to a desk. You can attach it to anything and you can get a really creative shot with it and it just sort of it helps you distinguish yourself away from all the other cinematographers it's a nice thing to keep in your camera bag because it's also super compact look how tiny that is and then on to number three is a tripod um, so this thing right here is a tripod you can get a variety of tripods there's some really expensive ones out there there's some really cheap ones out there there's big ones there's small ones you can, there's so many different types of tripods that you can get. I have like four. Um, I'm using one right now, it's a really expensive one. Um, and that one has, you know, it just makes it easier to pan, makes it everything smoother. Um, I have this really tiny one. This one doesn't hold very big cameras, but it does hold light lights. So it's very light. And then it also will hold a smaller camera if you want that. You can find this kind of tripod for about 20-ish bucks. Sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more. You get what you pay for though, so be careful. And then there's other tripods, like this one. This one's a little bit more expensive. It's also a little bit more heavy duty. Um, this, is, this was my go-to tripod for pretty much everything with my big camera because it can be about this small, you can make it really tall, and it holds heavy stuff pretty well. But there's a big spectrum of tripods. Uh, depending on what you want, you're gonna want something specific. If you're trying to hold up a light, then you probably want just a cheap, small one because it's not that big of a deal. And then if you're trying to hold a big camera, then you're probably gonna want a bigger tripod. Number four on this list is lens filters. So specifically right here is an ND filter. This is very important if you want to take pictures outside with a low shutter speed and you still want a, a wide aperture, or if you're filming outside, you want if you're filming anything outside and it's bright outside, you're gonna want an ND filter. This one was about 20, 30 bucks. You can find them for really, really cheap or you can find them for really, really expensive. There's some that are like magnetized that just pops right on and comes right off and everything. Those are really nice. I don't have one, I wish I did. But there's a, there's a wide variety of lens filters out there for different things that you could want. Uh, ND filter would be the first one I would say you'd wanna get. And then you can move on to maybe like a mist filter, softens your highlights, gives it a different look. So if you're trying to get a specific look, these are very helpful. And I would definitely recommend ND filter should be your first filter that you get, unless you only take pictures or film in the darkness and low light situations, then you probably won't need this. But most people, are gonna be in the situation of needing to film in the daytime, and this is a very important thing. And on to the fifth thing. The fifth accessory that you need to get is a light. Obviously, you can tell I'm using a lot of lights, um, but just having one light that can do a lot, like this one. This one right here is a little, uh, it's like a little rectangle. It um, does a lot. It has all the colors that you can think of, it has, you know, it does cold and warmer tones of just regular, you know, regular light, not any fancy colors. It does scenes. It'll do a cop car, it'll do a ambulance, it'll do a lightning, it'll do a fire, it'll fade and in and out for fire. 
Um, it does pretty much anything you can think of that is a light and it has been one of the most useful things that I could have bought for myself for in a like it is it is super useful. I use it all the time because you know just lighting up this it gives you know gives it a good background you know just adds adds taste. So there you go those are my top five accessories that will not break the bank that you can get for your camera and they will upgrade your quality of photos and videos by a lot and overall very inexpensive you could get expensive versions of all of this stuff but these work well for me for you know what they cost and i have not had any issues with any of these things if you want any of it then you can go into the link in the description i have all of it listed out and you just go click on it, it takes you right to it and i will see you guys in the next video and I hope you have a good one. Um, next one's right here, by the way.